Pulling off a sequel to an actually really fantastic film that nobody knew the original source material for is a tall order. But is this movie going to be a Terminator 2, or is it going to wind up being a Son of the Mask? Well, that's what we're here to do for today. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 so, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is, of course, the brand new movie based upon one of, probably one of the successful Marvel films that's ever come out. Well, other than the Gotham Captain America sequels that lead up to the Avengers. Or, the other way around. In this story, we have ourselves our main protagonist characters that we all come to know and love, Star-Lord, Groot, Rocket, and many more of the cast that wind up joining this renegade band. So, it's obviously the typical middle of the story of working around a sequel. What winds up happening during the process is they wind up protecting this gigantic shield from being eaten alive by this monstrosity creature who loves to devour things. And in the process, we wind up seeing, or finding out, that Rocket winds up stealing one of their stuff and thinks he could get a big trade out of it. But it turns out the person they've been hired by is really upset by this and decides to go after them, but they escape her as, of course, they wind up on a mysterious planet, which they actually do label them in this movie, so we aren't guessing is that we wind up seeing them land on a planet. But when they land there, they find Star-Lord's father. Yeah, <laughs> that happened. So, of course, they wind up taking him in, and he, of course, catches up with him. Of course, they wind up having some deeper second thoughts on Star-Lord's dad. Is he good? Is he evil? We don't know, and we want to find out. And pretty much it's on the hunt to try to see whether or not Star-Lord's dad is really evil or not. What can I really say to this film? Really, in all honesty, it does attempt to really flesh out a lot in a story. And to be honest, Part of the time, it's not very easy to adapt a comic book and make it into a movie. As I found out with my comic book-loving dad, he basically said that they had to compress all of the Captain America Winter Soldier books, books, comics, into one whole film. Well, it's to be casual, to be something they're familiar with. Guardians of the Galaxy you don't even know the source material, so you basically are caught off guard by the factor behind everything. Like, not many people know the comic book, so I believe it was a cakewalk for Marvel to obviously make a movie, and easier for the writers. So, of course, in the long end, the sequel definitely tries to deliver the best factors from the original film to here. It's still the adult thing we're familiar with in Guardians of the Galaxy, but it also attempts to bring us something new, but I feel like I've heard the story before. Like, the boy is Guardian, is basically dead mother, winds up not knowing his father, father winds up meeting him, but turns out to be evil. I felt like the story's familiar before, but in all honesty, Nothing's ringing any bells here. But at least we got ourselves a good, at least a good Marvel film to pass us by. How would you pass up a Marvel film that features Vin Diesel as a little Groot and somehow he can easily slip through cracks and crooks and nannies? No, I said that wrong, but in all honesty, I'm just... I'm just really excited for this one. I will have to say that, obviously, this film does bring us what it loves. The atmosphere, this funny Stan Lee cameo, the 
characters we've seen in like the previous films and we get still that Seth Green Howard the Duck character so it's kind of funny they would actually say remember that like weird post credit scene that you missed from Guardians of the Galaxy that features Seth Green? Well we're bringing him back in this movie. But also I kind of feel a bit off especially seeing as how like the opening crawl they brought in Sylvester Stallone and I don't remember him being in much scenes. I remember him being appearing like two times on the the showing and I don't know whether or not he was in other scenes, but I felt like it was just fleshing out plot. But also showing off that they might have done a spin off with Stallone's character. I don't know, it harks me the other way. But if you're looking for at least a passable sequel, or at least a good one at best, definitely this one is looking up the alley. Because obviously we have ourselves probably the best song selection I've heard in a long time. Plus, you gotta love some of the gags in this movie. So, in my standpoint, with everything I said, even if I was a well, by repeating everything, I will say that Guardians of the Galaxy is passable, so it's basically a good time no alcohol required. Yeah, I know people are going to be upset with me saying that as seeing as how I praise the original Guardians film, but I don't know, at least it did try to be a Terminator 2, and in all honesty, it kind of worked. So, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, have you seen it? What did you think about it? And, in all honesty, between this and the first movie, which one do you like more? Whatever your thoughts are, comment below and let me know. And, as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click on the channel name, or at least wait for the end slates to see that subscribe button, if you want to see more. And, as always, I'm the Ferb Guy, and I'll see you guys for the next movie.